Hello and welcome to the channel. It is really good to see that not only in US, France and China, but also in other parts of the world, companies and institutions are creating new models regularly. Falcon is such family of models. I already have covered various Falcon versions and models on the channel and in this video I am going to show you what exactly this new Falcon Mamba 7 billion model is. We are going to install it locally and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. Falcon Mamba 7 billion is the first open source released state space language model or SSLM which is a new architecture for Falcon models. This model is coming out of Abu Dhabi in United Arab Emirates and it is as the moment number one globally performing open source SSLM in the world as independently verified by Hugging Face. And they have also shared some of the benchmarking information which you can check out on their model page and I will drop the link in video's description. SSLM have a low memory cost and don't require additional memory to generate arbitrary long blocks of text. It also outperforms traditional transformer architecture models such as Meta's Llama 3.18 billion and Mistral 7 billion. So it is quite good and um, if we look into the training of the model that is actually quite interesting. This has been trained with around uh, 5500 GT mainly coming from refined web. Also a large volume web only data set filtered and deduplicated. Similar to the other Falcon a family of models, Falcon Mamba has been trained leveraging a multi-stage training strategy to increase the context lens from 2K to 8K. Also inspired by the concept of curriculum learning, they have carefully selected data mixtures throughout the training stages, considering both data diversity and complexity. Before I move forward, I think it is quite important to know that there is a difference between this model's architecture and the other models which we normally review like Llama, Mistral and rest of the lot. Those models are based on Transformers architecture whereas this Falcon Mamba is based on state space models. So what is the difference? Let's first have a look at Transformer models. Transformers are models that look at sequences like text as a whole rather than one step at a time. It can consider all previous parts of the sequences when making decisions, so the whole context. It uses self-attention to compare each part of the sequence with every other part. It is really great for tasks like language translation and text generation, but it has a flaw. When generating new text, it needs to recalculate the entire sequence, which can be slow for long sequences. And that is where we have this new architecture state space model or SSM. It is a type of model that represents a system using a simplified map of possible states or a maze. It keeps track of the current state and can predict the next state based on the input. It can process sequences like text but also signals. Think it thinks about the system as a whole, like a map, rather than just the individual steps. Transformer models focus on relationships between individual parts of a sequence, while state space models focus on the overall system and its possible states. Transformer models can be slow for long sequences due to the need to recalculate the entire sequence, while SSM can be more efficient for long-term predictions. Transformer models are great for tasks like language translation, while state space models are more flexible and can be used for a wider range of tasks including signal processing and control systems. There are a lot of other uh, differences and I have done few other videos where I go into way more detail, so please search the channel. But now let's try to get this installed and see how it works. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. 
So this is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let's create a Conda environment to keep everything in this virtual environment. Let's wait for it to get installed and activate it. That's done. Let's install some of the prerequisites which include torch transformers and some other stuff. It takes around a couple of minutes, so let's wait for it to get installed. These prerequisites are done, and now let's install our Jupyter Notebook, and then we will download and play with this model to see how it works. Our Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have installed, and then let's download the tokenizer and model. And you can see that it has started downloading this Falcon MABA 7 billion model. It seems that there are three shards of it, around 5 gig of size. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And make sure that you are using the latest version of Transformers. And the model is downloaded. Now in order to do the inference, let's run these commands where we are providing it the input text. And then we are using tokenizer to convert it into tokens. And then we are using model generate function to generate the output from the model and then we are decoding it back and printing it with tokenizer so let me run it and there you go so you see it it was able to detect very correctly correctly that there are three r's in the strawberry many models have failed it so far but Baba looks good let's try out another one now in this one i'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's wait for it so you see what happened here is that instead of giving me the response it has just repeated my uh, prompt so it seems that this model is not an instruction tuned one as of yet it is just a pre-trained base model so in that case let's try out another um, completion prompt like if it something like to do this one instead of giving it an instruction so let me try out this one and i'm telling it that if it's true the 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 then let's see how it does the completion for it and now look at this response so it is just i think going into the circles and circles just because of of course uh, the base model but it looks interesting so it is just going through uh, some of the predictions and then talking to itself let's try out another one let me run this now the use case for these sort of models is that you can fine tune them of course for instruction following or you can align them as per your own preference by using a lot of methods like dpo which is direct preference optimization where you give them a prompt or question or a preferred and rejected answer and then you fine tune the model as per your own use case so if you want to fine tune a state space model then this falcon maba looks a good choice to me because it looks solid and it's not really um, just printing out gibberish which I have seen with a lot of other models so far it looks good to me but it'd be really good to see some fine-tuned version of these models so you see it is doing the completion very well so it says why did the chicken cross the road too and then it completed to get to the other side because it was a chicken and that's what chicken do and then it is just doing some sort of um, you know uh, derivation from it to get to the other side and then it is just repeating it because i have given it a lot of huge context max new tokens here so all in all looks really good i think a good effort by uh, tii and as i said i already have covered their other models so they have maintained the quality which is quite good so good effort i will drop the link to the model in video's description let me know what you think if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.